Hello Gators, welcome to the first edition of GNN for this school year. I'm John Cador. And I'm Whitney Pierre. Today is Monday, August 19th, and here are your top stories. With the new school year upon us, we want to remind you about the dress code. All students are expected to adhere to the school's dress code at all times. Dress code violations will result in immediate change in appropriate clothing. Students may be subject to disciplinary consequences for repeat violations. Remember, tops must have sleeves, pajama sleepwear, bedroom slippers, and swimwear are not permitted. Headwear can be worn inside, shorts must be below mid-thigh, undergarments and midriff are not to be exposed, distracting images are defined by school administration as not permitted. Uh, gator gear and a college or military attire is encouraged and remember, remember every Friday is spirit day, so wear your blue and orange. ID cards are being issued in the first weeks of school. It is mandatory for everyone to wear their school ID on their lanyard each day. Your IDs are used every day for scanning upon entry into school, bus transportation, entrance to home and away athletic games, checking out books in the library, and getting a meal in the cafeteria. So make sure you wear yours every day. Attention senior students who have senior privilege, OJT, or DCT. You are not to exit school through Building 5 when leaving campus. You must exit through the doors by Jurassic Park Gate or doors near student services. Students who do not follow this rule may be subject to disciplinary consequences. Attention Gator swimmers, there will be a meeting today after school in room 3124. Make sure your athletic packets are complete and uploaded into Activate. Practices will be held on Mondays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.30 p.m. at the Burns Road Aquatic Complex. The first swim meet competition is August 29th. Join the Swim Team Google Classroom using the code Y64ELCR and download the Group Me app for the team announcements. Please see Coach McIntyre if you have any questions. There will be a freshman football meeting today at 6.30 p.m. in the Media Center. Make sure that your paperwork is act completed and upload to activate. Please bring the $10 trial fee to the meeting. Trials will begin on Thursday, August 22nd at 3.30 p.m. Football season cheer trials will be held today and Wednesday from 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. in the courtyard. Contact Coach Walker for any questions. Interested in joining the cross-country team, whether you're just getting started running, conditioning, or spring sports, or a serious cross-country athlete, there's room for you on the team. Attend the meeting today at room 2302. After school snacks and activity bus passes will be provided. If you already signed up, please make sure you complete your athletic packet. If you have any questions, email Coach McGee or stop by room 2302. Our PBGHS Color Guard will host open tryouts tomorrow and Thursday from 3 to 6.30 p.m. in the band room. Bring a water bottle and comfortable clothes. There will be a fall baseball meeting on Wednesday, August 21st in the room 4203 at 3 p.m. Please contact Coach Judkins if you are interested in joining the team but cannot make the meeting. You can also join the Baseball Gold Classroom with the code NOPPCH6. The, boy, the first boys basketball meeting will be held on Thursday, August 22nd from 3 to 5 in the cafeteria. Bring your fully charged laptop to the meeting. See Coach Lake in room 3206 with any questions. The Black Student Union will be hosting their first interest meeting on school year on Tuesday, August 27th, room 2102 from 3 to 4 p.m. All students are welcomed and encouraged to come out and join the BSU. There will be boys soccer interest meeting on Friday, August 23rd, after school in room 3124. See Coach McIntyre if you have any questions. If you are interested in joining the girls weightlifting team, please stop by the gym and see Coach Rivecchio for an athletic packet. And now, let's check out weather with Mike. Thanks, JJ. I'm Kevon Clark, and this is your Jenin 5-Day Weather man. Forecast. Today, we can expect to see partially sunny skies throughout the day, but there is a 56 chance of some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Our highs will reach 98, and our lows tonight will be in the 80s. Tomorrow will be pretty much like today, with highs reaching 90s and about a 52% chance of afternoon and evening thunderstorms. For the rest of the week, our rain chances to increase in almost 90% on Wednesday, but then return to around 40 to 50% for the remainder of the week. Highs will be in the upper 80s and lows to the 90s. The lows will be in the low 80s. That's it for your general weather. Let's head back to our anchors. Thanks, Kevon. SGA has been hard at work and needs everyone's help in picking the year's homecoming theme. This includes the staff and the students. Make sure you are following SGA on Instagram at pbg underscore SGA so you can vote for this year's theme. The choices are Gators in Paradise, a short trip to the islands where you can pick your favorite getaway, City of Lights, the busiest cities that never sleep, broadcasted on more than just the big screen, and Five Nights at Freddy's at the Swamp, the spookiest homecoming yet, but there's a catch. It only lasts for five nights. Think Fright Nights. 
To vote for your favorite theme, go to SGA's Instagram and click on the post with the yellow important announcement picture. Also, if you are interested in being a part of SGA, you can stop by room 3126 and pick up an application. Do you need clothing for homecoming, prom, graduation, or a special event? If so, see Ms. Evans in room 1208. She has formal wear for everyone, from amazing dresses to shoes and handsome suits. It's all for free, so stop by room 1208 anytime. <coughs> ACE testing results are back from spring 2024 exams. If you sat for the ACE examinations at the end of the school year, we'll now be able to access your results for those exams. If you have questions about your results and your progression towards the ACE diploma, please contact Ms. Skyron. Yearbooks are currently on sale. You can order yours by going for $85 by going to yearbookordercenter.com or by scanning the QR code on the flyers posted on campus. Enter the order number 2637 when you log on. Price of the yearbook increased after October 1st, so don't delay. Speaking of the yearbook, Underclassroom Picture Day is coming up. 9th, 10th, and 11th graders will be taking their pictures on October 2nd in the auditorium. Attention junior magnet students, it's time to secure your ski at the annual Magnet College trip. This year's trip will take place on September 17th and 18th. We'll be visiting UCF, UF, FSU, and FAMU. There are 50 seats available and the cost is $160 per person. And it's first come, first serve. Payment is due by September 6th. If you cannot pay the full amount initially, a $60 deposit will hold on your spot. Turn your payments to Ms. Cumberland in room 3215. All 50 seats must be filled in order for the trip to take place. All your financial ob obligations must be paid in order to attend, and you must also have a minimum 2.5 GPA and no disciplinary actions in the, this year or last year. And now let's see what's going on in sports with Mike. Thanks, Jonathan. I'm Mike Pierre, and this is your JNN Sports Report. Our girls volleyball team started the season tonight here at the Swamp against Garcia High School. Matches start at 6 p.m., so come out and support your Lady Gators. Last Friday night, our varsity football team traveled to Vero Beach to take on the Fighting Indians for their preseason game. The guys begin their season this Friday night with a trip to the Delray Beach. Take one. To at, on the Atlantic Eagles. Kickoff is set for 6.30. That's it for your Agenda Sports Report. Let's head back to our gate anchors. Well, that's all the news for today, Gators. Remember, there is no school tomorrow, so tune in Wednesday for another edition of GNN. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube at PBGHS TV Film. For Kevon, Clark, and Mike, I'm Whitney Pierre. And I'm Jolly Cador. And, and remember, remember, don't just be a Gator, be a, be a great, great gator. gator. Have, Have a great, great day. day.